Hey, so um, I was about to sit down and film the tutorial and I was checking to make sure this design is original. Usually I do check my stuff beforehand or I know, but this was a variation of somebody else's design. I asked her if I could make a tutorial and then I was like, I better double check because she said it's original, but majority of you guys actually don't check. And I did the right thing checking because yeah, there was a tutorial for cherries already. So um, I thought I could do a little with me instead because I did plan on filming today and I have today free. So. I need to film a video for this channel anyways, so we're gonna do a loom with me. Um, I guess it's, they're not live, obviously this isn't live, but yeah, I don't know what to call these still, but we're gonna make some cherries together. And basically, if you wanna make the exact cherries I made, I'm gonna leave a pattern in the description, but if not, um, you can check out her tutorial. So I'm gonna link the girl's tutorial. Um, I forgot what her name is. It's like from five years ago, which makes sense. But yeah, if you wanna make cherries exactly how I made them, I'll link it in the, well, I won't link it in the description. I'll write the pattern in the description, but yeah. Also because I already made one cherry and I was planning on making the other cherry in the tutorial because it's easy to do the stem, but sure enough, it's already designed. So in this video, I'm just gonna loom. I thought we could catch up. Uh, I feel like I haven't made a talking video in probably like a couple months and I don't know. I just thought I could chat for once on this channel because it's been, it's been a little. So I'm just gonna set my bands out really quick. And I just also dropped half of them on the floor. So like I said, I thought we could just kind of catch up in this video since I wasn't able to make a tutorial. Uh, I'll probably film a tutorial tomorrow. I just need to ask someone's permission for something because the mini flounder, I was planning on filming this tutorial today, filming a loom with me tomorrow, and then the third day filming the mini flounder tutorial if they let me. And now my like schedule for filming is thrown off, but that's fine. I'll find something else to make a tutorial for. I'm also doing the good thing because it is a variation. I could have made a tutorial because it was made five years ago, but I didn't because we don't do that. We don't steal designs on this channel. Um, but like I said, I thought we could catch up in this video. Uh, I haven't sat down and made a video, I think, since the Simpson one. So what has been going on with me? <laughs> Not much, honestly. Um, I feel like the main big update was I posted that art snacks video with like no for like warning. I just was like, I think I warned you in one of my other videos that our videos may be coming soon, but I didn't really say when soon was. And the truth is I've had that video filmed since February, but then I was so scared to post it. And I finally did. Um, I'm trying to keep my hands up so you can see me looming, but it's hard to. So I just posted it randomly because I knew I was going to get my braces off and well, I had them off and then it like took me forever to get used to my face again, which is like weird, but I thought I looked weird. I still, th I, I thought I looked weird with like no braces for like a solid month. It's probably, yeah, it's been a month since I got my braces off and I'm finally like comfortable filming. Like I see myself and I'm like, ah, uh, like it doesn't look weird anymore. And so I was just posting the last videos with me with braces in it, which was the organizing video and then the art snacks video. And it didn't get many views, which I mean, I knew, but <laughs> I just wanted to post it. It's mainly for me. I've also been doing the like, um, what do you call it? The, the wrap up videos at the end of each month, which I think is kind of showing some of you guys. Um, the other things that I do, in case you don't know what else I do, because uh, I do do art. I've been trying to take it more seriously. I feel like I got into art later than everybody else because I literally got into art like like, I realized I could do art, I guess, for, like, a living in college, which I feel like most people realize in, like, high school, but I didn't. I'm actually thinking about applying to art schools. I have literally nothing to put in a portfolio at the moment. So what a portfolio is, I know, like, a lot of you aren't artists, so sometimes I forget I have to explain myself. I don't know what it was once that I used art terms and everyone was like, oh, what? And then I was like, oops. But basically a portfolio is just like a like a collection of your work that you submit to art schools and see if they let you in and i really want to go to a better school but this fall i'm going to just be going to my like the university that's in my town because they literally let everybody in so it's like i'm gonna go there but i've been thinking and i think i might want to transfer to a different school so i need to make a portfolio portfolios are usually like anywhere from like 10 to 20 pieces and i think i have like one to two pieces i would put in it and that means i need like at least 10 more so i think this um coming year i'm gonna try to focus on like making myself a portfolio um another thing is i am gonna be changing the cha name of this channel to ginger salt soon whenever i remember i keep forgetting um i'm so forgetful i always tell people i'm gonna do things and things like that and i don't so yeah sorry about that 
so I'm gonna change the name of this channel to Ninja Cell. Rainbow Loom like normal, but if I post art videos, they're mainly for me and <laughs> not for you. I mean, if you want to watch one, that's cool. They'll be kind of like the Loom videos. I mean, I'll still be in it, so they'll be like, <laughs> you know, like my videos, but they'll just be art instead of Rainbow Loom. Fine. I mean, I still have some Rainbow Loom videos planned. It's just, I think it does motivate me more when I put videos of me doing art things rather than me just like, doing it on my own. Also, I think it'll be cool to look back and see like, ah, oh, I was so bad then and then like be fantastic later. Like that's gonna be great. Um, and I thought about making a second channel, but like, why am I gonna make a second channel? If I could just put it on this channel, it'll make me look more active. Like, <laughs> I'll just put it here and you guys can watch them if you want. If you don't wanna watch it, that's cool too. I mean, you don't have to watch all of my videos. I'm not forcing you, so no big deal. The other thing that's going on is I'm gonna start a job this Friday. Um, it's a job. I mean, if you know, I've, I used to work at a rolled ice cream place. Uh, I quit in March. Somehow in the time when I was working at the other ice cream place I worked at, my dad bought a rolled ice cream place. So now I'm going to work for him this summer. I don't know how long I'm going to work for him. I'm just hoping I don't, because before when I worked at the other place, I was working 40 hour weeks and I was doing like four classes in school, which is basically why I disappeared from this channel. Of course, you didn't notice because when COVID happened, I basically just came back and was just like, oh yes, this channel. Um, <laughs> so I'm hoping I don't, because I have a habit that they're like, oh, do you want the shift? And I'll just be like, sure. <laughs> like, no, you don't. Have them fight somewhere else. But the worst part is it's also my dad's. So I know if anyone cancels or anything on him, he's going to be like, do you want to work? And I'm going to be like, no. But I'm gonna say yes. So hopefully I don't overwork myself, but I'm, I don't think I will. It's my dad's shop and he lets us draw whatever the heck we want at his shop as long as we pay attention to the customers. So like he lets his employees do homework at his shop. Um, I've drawn at his shop, I think. Okay, you guys can't see it. So we're gonna do a little shift, but beep, there's a cupcake. Okay, so <laughs> that cupcake painting, I drew it in at his shop when I was working. I worked a couple shifts with him before the pandemic started and no one's like, my dad was fine with it. Honestly, as long as, like I didn't paint it at his shop. I drew in the proportions, but my dad like literally lets us do whatever. So I could loom at his shop and he probably wouldn't tell me anything because looming doesn't make much of a mess and his customers never complain, so. So I could do whatever I wanted to shop as long as it's not busy. But I think because I'm working in the summer, I'm not going to have time to do anything, which sucks. But yeah. yeah. If I ever work a slow shift, though, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do some things. I have plans now. I'm like scheming. <laughs> not really. Um, but, uh, what else has been going on? I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to catch you guys up on. Um, I'm starting a job. I plan on taking my arm more seriously. That's going to be interesting. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping I'm gonna stay at the university of my town for one year and then I'm gonna try to transfer somewhere else. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting more art videos on this channel. I'm trying to think of what else I want to catch you guys up on, but that's all that's been going on with me really. I'm kind of stressed because I um the sculpture department at my school, I'm not sure how it is. Um I keep looking and I'm like, like show me what uh like, I want to see what, the, what sculptures are doing, and it's hard to find anything on them. So, it's part of the reason. I just don't think their sculpture department is the kind of sculpture I want to do, because I do want to go to school for sculpture. Um, I might change my mind, but I think that's what I'm going to go to school for. But, I don't know. I can't find anything on the sculpture department. It's like Mission Impossible. And then what if, from what I've seen um, from the school sculptures, I don't know if they're the style I would want to do and it's a lot of metal and I do not want to do pure metal so I hope this video wasn't boring because it was mainly just being like oh, I started a job here's all my art plans but uh, you know but yeah so I think that's everything I wanted to catch you guys up on so I'm gonna make it a time lapse so you guys can see me finishing off the cherries um I got a good bit done just talking to you this is a really quick design like I said if you want to make this It'll be in the description. I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm gonna just flip over so we can do a time lapse of me finishing these. And yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say in this video. Uh, I just wanted to catch you guys up so you know what's going on. Uh, and also just basically don't freak out if you see our videos for me. They're mainly for me. You don't have to watch them. Um, my hand is too close to that. <laughs> um, this is my channel, so you know, I'm gonna do what I want. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it basically. Uh, I know the art snacks video was kind of unexplained. I just didn't say anything. I was just like, ah, here's a video I made. But yeah, just be prepared for more videos. Uh, they won't 
like take away from the tutorials don't worry about that i know you guys are like waiting for some tutorials for me uh i do them in my free time i do them for fun i do like filming videos so yeah i have two uh, art videos planned to come soon so we'll see we'll see but yeah but like i said let's finish this cherry i guess <laughs> Okay, so I finished making the cherries. I still have bands on my finger, but we'll take them off. Look, her and her friend are cute. I thought it'd be cute to make two different colored ones. I did not disappoint. Um, They still need mouths and cheeks, but I'm gonna do them off camera because I have the glue gun in the kitchen and I, I don't wanna take you guys over there. So I'll go finish these up, but here's a photo of them finished. I know with the magic of editing, I can just, there <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna finish these up off camera but that is it for this video um i hope you liked making cherries with me kind of um like i said in case you haven't heard like 10 times in this video pattern in the description um and yeah so i hope <laughs> you like this video um subscribe if you want to see more videos from me like i said there'll be more art videos coming if those interest you um more tutorials as always uh i gotta figure out what the heck i'm gonna film tomorrow now because i was gonna film these but oops they're already designed so yeah. i did the right thing checking though and it's the right thing not to make a tutorial it just sucks because it um messed up my schedule but oh well you know you gotta do the right thing that's what you're supposed to do uh, and I, I would feel so horrible if I steal from anybody, so. I'll have the links to all my things down in the description. I've been posting on TikTok more, so if you like TikTok, my TikToks are horrible. For some reason, my phone quality just goes on TikTok, but I'm trying, y'all. I also just said y'all, what the heck, <laughs> but I'm trying. So uh, check out my TikTok if you're interested in that. It's the same as everywhere else, so I'm Ginger Soul on TikTok. Um, I also have an Etsy, so check out my Etsy if you want to buy anything from me. I've been listing uh, a lot of Loom things. I know I put my Cat Noir and Ladybug up there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my Instagram is also in the description if you want to see what I'm up to. I always update my Instagram more than anything else. Um, also, if, if you're interested in seeing some of my art, you can check out my other <laughs> Instagram, which is ginger 4 um, But like I said, I think that's it for this video. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you probably in a tutorial next, so <laughs> bye.